Uh, hey guys, uh, Scott with Football Scoop back in the Inside Scoop. Today we got Chris Symington, uh, run game coordinator, offensive line coach at uh, Colorado State Pueblo. Coach, thanks for having me with us. Oh, uh, pleasure to be here. I spent so much time on your uh, on your website. It's good to finally be live on here. That's good stuff. All right, so Coach, I remember you were in Eastern Michigan for four, well, five or six years prior to coming to Pueblo, uh, but you had some. Uh, you were a lot of places before that, huh? Give me, give me the quick history. Well, before that, I was at a historical black college, one uh, AA Tennessee State in the Ohio Valley Conference. I was there for four years. It was a great experience. Uh, I recommend that uh, any coach trying to get going in this game, uh, if they have an opportunity to coach at a historical black college, I highly recommend it. It was a tremendous experience for me. And uh, I gained a lot of knowledge on uh, – on how to do things, you know, and how, how to recruit the African-American athlete. And it was, a, like I said, it was a very valuable experience for me. Prior to that, I was at Western Kentucky University uh, for four years with Jack Harbaugh. And uh, once again, it was a, a rebuilding type situation where they tried to shut his program down. And um, he had come down to Vanderbilt when I was down there, and he and I got to know each other. And, and then, you know, he ended up winning a national championship yeah. seven years later after they were trying to shut him down. So it was really good experience from that standpoint. And then after, before that, I was at Vanderbilt with Jerry DiNardo. All right. Tell me about uh, the opportunity to come to Pueblo. You know, uh, what, what enticed you there? Well, number one, you know, it, it was an opportunity for, for me to work with John Riston, who he and I have been great friends for a lot of years since, you know, we were in Colorado together in 1990. And uh, we're part of a national championship team. We've always been um, stayed close. And, and when he got the opportunity to get this job, I really wanted to come with him when he got the job. But, you know, I was kind of tied in at Eastern Michigan. And it just didn't work out, the timing. Yep. And then, uh, you know, a year later, it, it worked out. And uh, I really enjoy it. And, you know, the thing about it is you're not making the division one money and all those kinds of things. And you don't have the bells and whistles that you have in Division One, but at the end of the day, we're, we're we have a lot of fun here. You know, I uh, had the opportunity to speak with Jim Mastro, who's now at uh, Washington State yesterday, and I was asking about you know some differences in the Pac-12. He said, "Hey, coaching's coaching. You know, you're at a mid-major, you're at a D2, you were coaching your butt off. It, there's nothing different." You know? uh, it really is. It's such a true statement, and the beauty that that I find here is, you know, like you've talked with John earlier about the scholarship situations, you know, the kids kids are tied in money-wise. So it's a little bit more important to them to be on time, to take care of business, to, you know, you, you find out what kids are all about because they, they are invested in it themselves. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's a very rewarding experience as a coach. All right. I would highly recommend it to any young coaches out there because, Scott, of the experience that we give. Now, yes, as a part-time coach or whatever it is we do here, you don't gain a lot of it. You don't, you're not going to make a lot of money. But the experience that you get is amazing. You have your own position. You know, if you go and be a GA at a Division One program, you're not going to do a lot of coaching. You're going to be doing a lot of film breakdown. You're going to be doing a lot of behind-the-scenes work. Whereas if, if you come into a Division Two situation – and you can bear with not making a lot of money, boy, I tell you what, the experience is invaluable. It's priceless. That's great stuff, Coach. I hear you, you know, on that. Because, you, yeah, you know, you have your own, you, you have your own position, and uh, you have your own meetings, you have your own own deal. And, and so I think it's a really good experience for a young coach to come in and get his feet wet. Great opportunity to teach, too. First of all, you got to go out and get your kids. you got to recruit them. You got to sell them on you and your program and your coaching staff, and then you got to teach them all the way through. Huh? Exactly. So, uh, you know, talk to Coach Riston a little bit about playbook softwares and how you guys, you know, what tools you're using to teach uh, teach the kids. You know, what you want them to know. T tell me what uh, what you're doing with the offensive line specifically. Well, I I, I do think that the, the the old traditional style of a playbook is very good, but I've gone more to a virtual playbook, and and, and what that means is I've done everything on powerpoints. And it's allowed me to give a base um, play, uh, a base description. And then in the next PowerPoint, what I do is I take all the little things and little adjustments that come with that play. And so the kid will see the base of what he needs to know with the play. And then the next PowerPoint will be all the little 
details of that play. Right. Well, the beauty of this playbook, doing a virtual playbook, is you can constantly add to it. So if you're out there in practice, you're out in a game, and a situation arises that you you, you know you don't necessarily have in a in a paper playbook, you simply go to the PowerPoint and type it in as an adjustment, and now you have it saved. And kids can always revert back to it. Now, the only problem with that is they put it on their laptops, and sometimes they're you got to be careful because they're looking at it in class all the time, you know, when they get bored in class. So I have to constantly remind them not to be opening it up in class. But it's been a valuable teaching tool for me to keep up with all the um, different things that go on with each play in my position. Hey, Coach, this was really great. I appreciate you taking uh, – some time with us. This was this was great content, and uh, look forward to talking with you guys again soon. Hey, we appreciate it.